I graduated, I basically, you know, I went to class every day, and uh, I had a couple of, I'll call them capstone projects, but I didn't get the, the experience that we're creating here. So today we have what we call learning by experience. Uh, Wichita, WSU will call it applied learning. But imagine this for a moment, being able to take a young man or young woman coming in to do their bachelor's degree, and let's just say it's aerospace engineering, for example. So they're in the classroom and they learn, you know, the book knowledge. But then on that same day, they can go to one of the labs that are on the innovation campus and be able to get that hands-on learning. And then they can walk across the street and they get to work with an actual partner on the innovation campus to do real work on a real project. So imagine doing that every day, 24-7 for four years and graduating with that kind of experience. There's a uh, partnership building on the innovation campus here that's uh, completely housed by Airbus North America Engineering. So they're actually right here just next door to us on the actual innovation campus. We also have another partnership building right next to us where a big section of the second floor is uh, occupied by Spirit Aerosystems. Uh, we are the uh, air capital of the world. We're centrally located in the United States, and we have uh, several aircraft and uh, defense companies in the area. There's Bombardier Learjet, there's Textron Aviation, Beechcraft, and Cessna and Hawker. There's Spirit Aerosystems, Airbus, a lot of suppliers, Perfecta, Tech Aerospace, and so on. Yeah, Wichita State is uh, very involved in A&D uh, research. We, we always are in the top three or four in the rankings for R&D research. And our biggest focus is we do a lot of industry-based research or industry finance research. Uh, over 60% of our uh, funding comes from industry. So we're very linked to the industry. We have a great relationship with the FAA. We have several centers of excellence with the FAA here. And uh, we do a lot of work with materials and certifying materials for flight. Uh, so it makes us uh, uniquely available to have a center like this to help A&D industry. I had this vision back when I was with Lockheed Martin that if I could bring together the right kind of infrastructure, rules and templates and equipment, software and a system of work and so on, the right team, that I basically could develop any kind of product. This was the manifestation of that, being able to create this, what we call the 3D Experience Center as part of one of the key ingredients of the innovation campus here at WSU. The idea was in the 3D Experience platform, it, it truly is a business platform. So what we've done is we brought in the technology of program management. And we brought it in, you know, so that you could use that Gantt chart or Perch chart or whatever, integrate that in. But the idea is that by integrating program management with engineering, with manufacturing, okay, and then certification, being able to bring that all into the platform so you have that single element of truth to be able to demonstrate how you could manage a project and do the engineering and manufacturing all at the same time. My ultimate mission when we designed the 3D Experience Center was to be able to put the right technologies and people and processes and so on together so that you could take a typical three to five year life cycle down to 90 days. By having you know, the right tools and processes and rules and templates and libraries, you know, setting it up, leveraging all that rich you know, legacy data and logarithms and so on that are there, but bring it into the 3D Experience platform so that you can act upon it collectively in a very collaborative way. We've been able to demonstrate that you can do co-simulation, for example and you can do uh, different types of manufacturing techniques and you can do it in the virtual world. That's the key. So being able to create that product and all the associated processes in the virtual world first before you commit any of the physical manufacturing requirements and funding that is necessary to actually produce it. And that's the, the key. So you're talking about form, fit, and function, all integrated together. So I understand the behavior, the physics behind the form and fit of the product and we've been able to demonstrate that you can indeed bring that all together in one place. Uh, we're involved in most things. Structures is our number one, uh, but we're involved in most things except for propulsion. We don't do a lot of engine work, but a lot of the other fields we, we do something in. But structures is by far what uh, Wichita is most known for. Uh, fuselages, things like that uh, is what Wichita really does. So I actually went to school here at Wichita State and. Uh, 
seeing all the developments we've done makes me want to go back to school here. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of activities here. There's a lot more living options where you can stay on campus. There's work options while you're on campus. There's going to be places to eat. There's places for recreation. Uh, it's, it's its own ecosystem, which really allows you to come to the university and just be completely involved in the university. The SO Systems, as you know, we represent 12 different industries. We're reaching across all the different industries and leveraging the technology of the 3D Experience platform in the context of this center to be able to demonstrate what the art of the possible is with new systems of work that meet regulatory requirements that each of these industries may have.